Hello, welcome to Amazing Space. Okay, so this week I've gone out and bought something that uh, I've wanted for quite a while now. I've got my own, uh, very own 3D printer. Now, when you look online, you will find that there is just so much space related items and objects out there that really I just want to be able to create myself. And it really was just a matter of time before I end up buying a printer. So I did do a, a, a bit of work online to try and find out what would be the best for novice because really that's where I'm coming from. I don't really have a background in 3D printers so this is all new to me. Now what I will do, I will do an in-depth review of the whole assembly process but for now what I will say is that I ended up buying an Anycubic i3 Mega printer. Now I bought and paid uh, this for myself so there's no assistance from any cubic or any online retailer so any views on the printer are strictly my own. Uh, now what you're actually seeing is basically a sped up process of the whole uh, assembly procedure but what I will say again coming at this from a complete novice is that I found the whole setup actually very straightforward and from the time I actually unboxed all the different bits it actually took me around 15 to 20 minutes Put everything together which is a I thought was pretty good given I've never done anything like that before okay so on to the main purpose of this video I've got my printer I've done a few small test prints so you get a, a little SD card and you can run a few things off uh, but really what I want to know is what should be my first 3d space print now of course there's so much to choose from out there everything from parts of the moon, sections of Mars you can print out, to virtually every spacecraft you can think of, right back to Explorer 1 and Sputnik, up, uh, uh, up to the very latest uh, Falcon Heavy that's taking off tomorrow. Right, so what I'm going to do is run a little poll at the end of this video. I'm going to pick three things that I think, uh, certainly I would like to print off uh, fairly quickly. Now the first is Curiosity, the Mars rover. Now, <coughs> our little friend here landed on Mars in August 2012. It was originally designed for a two year mission, but nearly six years later, it's still plowing its way through the Martian service, sending data back on the red planet. Now, here, here on screen, now you'll see all the various bits. What I'll look at once I print it off. Now, all that needs to be uh, assembled, but it looks very straightforward. So that's uh, the first thing I would like to print off. Next up is Cassini. Who doesn't love Cassini? Oh my goodness. I mean Cassini, when you look, look back at all the years and years of stunning images that are sent back to the Saturn and its moons and also of other planets, it's easy to understand why Cassini has a very special place in uh, many people's hearts. And as I mentioned just a few moments ago, you have the Falcon Heavy. Yep, tomorrow, Oh, fingers crossed, we will hopefully witness the launch of one of the most powerful, powerful rocket, rockets ever built. So I thought in order to commemorate this historic moment, I could print my very own Falcon Heavy. And there's a couple of very good prints up out there, one from quite small ones. The ones where they're really quite large, not full size thank goodness, but large enough. So the question is, what do you think? Which one of those prints, uh, the Rover, Cassini or the Falcon Heavy, should I uh, use for my inaugural 3D print? So please do take part in the poll and maybe leave a comment. Maybe you think it shouldn't be any one of those things, it should be something else. But what I will do in a few days, I will make another video just to give you uh, an idea of what I've gone for. So please keep tuned, please take part in the poll and like and share the video. Thank you.